Howdy YouTubes, Deej here, and in this video I will be covering how you can install OpenVR Motion Compensation and the YaVR Tracker into SteamVR in any game you play, assuming it's a SteamVR title. So let's hop into it. First things first, this only applies if you're using Virtual Desktop on the Quest and probably the Pico but you need to set virtual desktop to run with the disable renderer pose flag. This is a fairly straightforward process. You're gonna open up the folder you installed virtual desktop to. The default is in C, program files, virtual desktop, desktop streamer. Right click on the virtual desktop streamer.exe, select more options, then create shortcut. Create the shortcut on your desktop. From here, right click on the shortcut, go to properties and add the slash disable render repose flag. I'll add that in the description of this video. I'll also include the full target, but know if your virtual desktop is installed in a different location, then you'll have to modify the target when you put it into your own shortcut. Once that's done, you'll have to close virtual desktop and launch it using this shortcut each time you want to use OpenVR Motion Compensation with your Quest or Pico device. Again, I'm not sure if the Pico will even work. Now we'll install the Yaw Tracker, and this is very simple. You're going to open up Game Engine, you're going to select Motion Compensation, make sure both boxes are checked, and then you're going to click to install OpenVR Drivers. You'll have an option after this to choose a non-default Steam VR location. You want to make sure you select the drivers folder if you don't have the Steam VR default. From there, accept the prompts, and it should tell you that OpenVR MC and the Yaw Tracker are installed. Now for the fun part. I say fun because it can be a royal pain in the butt depending on how many bugs you encounter. I'd highly recommend that before starting this part, you restart your computer. You wanna make sure you launch Virtual Desktop if you do restart using the shortcut that we created. Next, connect to Steam VR using your VR headset. Open up your dashboard, go into settings, and there should be a startup and shutdown section. Open it and go into manage Steam VR add-ons. From there, turn on 00 VR Motion Compensation and the Yaw VR Tracker. Note, these plugins will occasionally crash when launching Steam VR, so you'll need to re-enable them or unblock them and then restart Steam VR. Lastly, you need to select Choose Startup Overlay Apps and make sure VR Motion Compensation is turned on. Go ahead and restart Steam VR. If you're doing it from Virtual Desktop, I recommend closing it from the Virtual Desktop menu and then opening it from the Virtual Desktop menu again. And then once you're back inside Steam VR, open the dashboard and recenter your view. If you're streaming from Virtual Desktop, make sure you center your view first using the meta button from the Virtual Desktop menu and then recenter inside of Steam VR. Once that's done, return to your desktop with Steam VR running, open up the game engine, return to the motion compensation section and select calibrate. Then click calibrate, go follow the prompts, then return to Steam VR while the calibration finishes running. If everything went correctly, then there should be some green, blue, and red arrows with a center of all of them at your pelvis, and the blue line plus a dot is pointing directly in front of you, with the green line being roughly where your body is sitting in the chair. Now, open up your dashboard, click on the Open VRMC Settings button. If it isn't present, you'll need to re-enable plugins. Select Start Motion Compensation. Make sure that Yaw VR Tracker is selected, then click Apply. It should say Motion Compensated. From here, all you need to do is test and make sure everything's working. So, either with the app on your phone or using direct input while you're inside of Steam VR, move your Yaw. And if the blue line moves with you and stays pointed straight ahead, then you're motion compensated. Now all you have to do is launch your VR game and you should be good to go. I hope that this video will be helpful to those that watch it. If it has, I would love it if you could leave a like and subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind, comment on what could have been improved on or leave questions down below. This has been Deej and till next time, this is the video ending.